I'm Tara, and I'm here today with Corinda Campbell from Get It Done Marketing. And uh, Corinda, you really work with companies so that they can make money from their marketing. Absolutely. Small businesses who want to make money from their marketing. I love this idea because so many of us spend money on marketing that doesn't give us a return. And Corinda, you'll probably recognize her. She is always invited to speak at lectures, at different networking events. You were kind of like a little Denver celebrity in your own. So we're really excited to have you here today. And we're going to be talking about how the Internet has changed the way that we need to market our business. And, of course, we're an Internet-based company, so this is a great tie-in for what we do here at FFB. But you've been doing this for a long time. So what have you seen over maybe the past 15, the last 10 years, and how businesses have had to change how they market to their, their clients? Well, in the last, let's say, 10 to 15 years, technology has come into the mix. But more importantly, it's brought us into the information age. And so where businesses used to have a one-way conversation via mostly interruption marketing between business and consumers, consumers are now having conversations back with the businesses. And more importantly, consumers are having conversations with each other about companies, and that affects their marketing as well. Now, you use a lot of this marketing language about interruption marketing and conversations. Okay, so explain what does that mean to me. Well, um, the old model of marketing is where uh, you'd be interrupted during your television show, your radio show, reading your favorite magazine with some ad with a clever marketing message that's meant to market a product to the masses. Now we have new tools that are out there, like Facebook or Twitter or blogging, where now consumers can talk to each other about a company and what their marketing is all about and their experience with that company when they can talk back to the companies. Mm. There's people's full-time jobs at Dell Computer just to monitor Twitter and Facebook and listen to those conversations and respond. Wow. Wow. And in today's economy, when companies are really trying to say, where can they cut their budgeting, I would think a lot of companies think marketing. Let's cut back on some more marketing. But you've actually found some interesting um, research that counteracts that. Absolutely. And whether you're a small business, a corporation, everybody in between, that is the first knee-jerk reaction when things are um, slowed down is to, is to cut back on marketing. But there's studies, statistical studies and data from the 1920s that consistently show in the last 12 recessions the companies that either maintain or increase their marketing do actually just fine during these downturns. Mm. And more so, when things speed up again, they actually outpace their competitors by a significant mark because they've been there and they've been consistent. So when you talk to this face-to-face, these conversations that are having, you know, between consumers, I was telling Corinda that I was looking for a sushi restaurant that had a great happy hour. And my first thing was I put it on Facebook. I said, who has a good happy hour? And got the responses, and that's where we went to. And so companies need to start looking at, is, like, that's kind of what you work with. How can a company look at how can they take advantage of these social networking and things like that to market their business? Absolutely. And given your example, if you were to see an ad for that sushi restaurant versus your friends telling you, hey, Mm -hmm. I've been to the sushi restaurant, it's great, you're going to love it, what are you going to pay attention to? Sure, sure. So now you work, you do a really unique program where it's a three-month program that a company works with you, and you really kind of start from the foundation and build up on what is the image, what is the story that they want that consumer to have. So tell me a little bit more about when you say story, what that means. Well, these stories are all these conversations that, again, typically a branded product would tell their consumers they want to hear. Well, you can't control the conversations going on between different consumers with each other. So Mm -hmm. you want to make sure that your branding isn't just a clever marketing message, but Mm -hmm. has a story to tell. And that that story is directed to very specific target markets, very specific clients, with a very specific message that they can tell each other, that they can expect when they do business with them. Exactly. Well, one of the things that we had talked about is that the marketing has changed from going to the masses, where I want a message that's going to go out to a ton of people, to really specifically marketing towards your target market. And that it, that would probably save you money and time and give you a better result because you're really zoning in on who do I want to be marketing to. Absolutely. There is an old adage that facts tell and stories sell. So mm-hmm. you want to make sure you got your story right. So when we work with companies in the program, the three-month program or one-on-one, we spend a lot of, of time on the building the foundation. And the foundation is your branding identity, your mm-hmm. ideal clients, your target markets, and your unique value proposition. You want to make sure that those are right and that they're very specific because you're entering into those conversations. And the more clear you can be on who you're talking to, why you're talking to them, what's in it for them, and why should they tell somebody else, the mm-hmm. better off off you are because then they have a very specific message that they can tell to each other to um, 
between each other, and they have to have that conversation. And you're not wasting on, you're not wasting money on ineffective marketing. No, if you are general to everybody, you're specific to mm-hmm. nobody. So you need to really help them know why should they do business with you. Great. Well, you can find out more about Kernda and what she does at GetItDoneMarketing.com. And thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate you, and hope you'll come by next week. Have a great day.